J Man the Vanderwall fan back at it again with another video. As always, I'd like to welcome all of my fellow Vanderwallers and any guests who are just discovering Grace for the first time, hopefully. If that is you, I think you're in for a pretty good treat. I really do. Before we get started, please meet Bear. Some of you may have already met him in my previous videos, some of you may have not. But he's here, and he ain't going nowhere. He just won't leave. So, that said, Saturday um, is by Coda and the Friend. Is that what it is? I think it's Coda and the Friend. Yes, Coda and the Friend. Now, I have heard Coda and the Friend's version, and not a fan, exactly. I mean, it's a good song. It's not bad. But, I, of course, I heard Grace's first, and... Uh, I felt fall into that pitfall of hearing the cover first and you listen to the original. Now, I don't know. It's not a cover that, it's not an original that I think I would like necessarily. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong because I don't know. I fall into that pitfall a lot. And a lot of people do. Um, one of my, one of the songs I grew up when I was a teenager uh, was The Freshman by The Verve. The Verve, The Verve Pipe, I don't know. Um, and my wife, she's a little younger than me, and she grew up on a different version of that song. She likes that version, not the original version. I like the original version, not that version. So we fall into the pitfall of just enjoying the version we're used to. So, that is neither here nor there. But I do absolutely love, <laughs> she does this at the uh, Serious Coffee House. She performed a couple songs there. Of course, she had her, her lovely guitarist, uh, Melissa, with her. Melissa Daughtry. And um, fantastic guitarist, by the way. And I did forget to mention the band in the last video. Clearly, I cannot believe I did that. I feel so foolish. So, props to Melissa, Ben, and Dylan. You guys rock. You guys own it. You guys deserve uh, recognition for what you do for you as, as a band and for what you do for Grace. Because without the band, without the band sounding good, Grace can only do so much. She can still sound good, but the band can flat out break you. She's got a good band, period, all the time. So anyways, that all said, we're not here to talk about that stuff. We're here to talk about Saturday by Grace Vanderwall. And this is, I love the way she does this. I think, all I want to do is, <laughs> didn't mean to do that, guys, I'm sorry. Okay. Without, um, as I like to say, without further ado, because there's no more ado needed, I click, okay, I just felt like Dr. Rick Brown there. And Back to the Future 2, 2, Back to the Future 2, that's right, 1. I was plugging in my, my headphones, calm down, I mean, jeez, don't look at me so crazy, like, I mean, it's just, it's just, a, I'm gonna get started. Um, Saturday, Coda and the Coda the Friend live at Sirius XM. Grace, the lovely Grace Vanderwall. All I want to do is take a Saturday stroll with you. Cruise ship on the East River, got room for two. Wake up with you in my arms to a day that's new. Tell me that's not gorgeous. So all I wanna do is take a Saturday stroll with you. Yeah. Life get more complicated like every day. <laughs> Gotta work hard for the dollar in the streets, no way. But when I'm with you, I swear everything just seem okay. World burning down to the ground, yeah, we don't change. I just love her. The way she is articulating the words and the manner that she is uh she's <laughs> i just want to love that's real do you want that too look and speak your mind then i promise i'ma tell my truth we can leave our baggage at the airport if it's too much I don't want to set another fire to the things I touch. 
How can she say that? She don't want to set fire to the things she touched. She's on fire. She is on fire. She's going to set fire to anything she touches. Especially the song she touches. Nice girl. Seriously. The girl's on fire. She's seriously on fire. Her, her music is on fire. Her singing is on fire. Her everything is on fire. And lately I've been trying to find my way. Hate me if you want to, that's okay And I tried to get that monkey off my back But he just fell and landed on my leg If you're feeling down, call me on my phone No, I'll be around, even at your low At your every high, revel in your glow Tried to take your shine, but they couldn't take your soul, no All I wanna do is take a Saturday stroll with you Cruise ship on the east with a car room for two yeah. Wake up with you in my arms to a day that's new Cause all I wanna do is take a Saturday stroll with you Chill for a minute, focus on the simple things Girl on my linen, the sun on my window pane Birds singing songs just for you like it was rehearsed Autumn in my city leaves falling and it could be worse So what do you want? I'll make my way Build you a house, let go my claim I'll take the car or I'll take the train To get back to you and be whole again yeah. All I wanna do is take a Saturday stroll with you Cruise ship on the East River, got room for two Wake up with you in my arms to a day that's new Ooh, All I wanna do is take a Saturday stroll with you Cause all I wanna do is take a Saturday stroll with you Oh dear. Come here. Go away. The true amazing grace. God, I just don't know, man. <laughs> At least, I, I don't know how she does it. I really don't know how she does it. She, like, literally has. A thousand different voices and a thousand different styles. It's like the girl, there's no limit to what she can do. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why. I don't know how she does it. I really don't. Maybe that's why, maybe that's what drives me to listen to her songs. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because she has all these different varieties in her voice. She, she has different flavors in her voice. She has different flavors in her music. You know, with the whole thing, like, where's the flavor? Where's the flavor? Nobody's pushing the envelope. That's what she said. And she's so right. But she is pushing the envelope. She is doing exactly what she, she's looking. She's putting the flavor in the music. She's literally doing it. I think that's, I mean, I can only imagine she's doing that because she sees the world needs it. Or I don't know. Maybe she sees she needs it. Maybe she sees that she needs it. Because as I've always said, Sorry. Dang. I've had a little sleep. As I've always said, Grace is a true artist. What makes a true artist? A true artist creates art for themselves. Period. You don't create art for others. You create art for yourselves and you hope that others like it. Grace creates music that she loves and because she loves it, it helps us to love it that much more. But this isn't her creation, but this isn't her song, but it's a. Uh, it could be. You know, 
the other night I, I did that reaction to the video of the young girl that from Portugal that uh, pretty much she didn't know she blatantly ripped off Grace Vanderwall's song with City. And you know, I was bitter about that. You know, and there's a couple of comments that were made that were kind of like, yeah, well, I could kind of see that. Um, one person said, I'm not gonna throw names out there because I don't want to, you know, do that. But one person said, well, you know, these people stealing songs from Grace actually help Grace out. And technically, I could see it that way because of the fact that, you know, um, lawsuit ensues and her name's out there more, you know, people, and especially if she wins the lawsuit, it's like, you know, um, this girl wrote that song and someone took it, you know, someone thought it was good enough to take, you know, just listen to her music, you know, I mean, I don't know if that's exactly the way it works, but that's the way I kind of took it. Um... But anything that can expose her name out there, especially if it's something like that, where she can, you know, be, it's just, it's just, you know, there's, there's a couple of instances out there apparently with the, that issue, but the, she, oh, yeah. dang, she, uh, That girl that took her song and butchered it and put it back together in some weird fashion and tried to make it sound like Grace Vanderwall or tried to make it sound like herself with Grace Vanderwall behind it or something. I don't know what she was going for. I really don't because it was hard to tell with all the reverb and the just the, uh, it's not good. It wasn't good. That's all Grace does, obviously. Grace gets song gets approved to sing a song and he takes it and she does it grace's way she does it she gives credit to the artist which that girl should have done it's just a crazy world we live in guys and at the center of our world at the, the epicenter of our world is the is the um, volcano that is Grace Vanderwall, the volcano of music that is Grace Vanderwall, because she was released so much music and such. She's released so much music in such a short amount of time. It's ridiculous. And granted, not all of them have been official releases. We still have a lot of music that we wouldn't have had from an artist twenty years ago. And who else is doing this? I I've noticed that I I have noticed that Grace Vanderwall literally. She is involved in her fans' lives. Like she's always, she's on, she's not on all the time. But I don't know of any other artist that's doing the Instagram live or the live streams as much as she does. I don't know of any other singer that's releasing songs, like singing songs on those things, releasing songs like that on the Instagram live. We may not have official recordings, but we've got a ton of music from this girl. A ton of music. And I've got a long road ahead of me just to react to what she has out now, just musically. Let's not, let's forget about the interviews. Let's forget about the comedy stuff. Let's forget about the <clears throat> cute and funny moments. Let's forget about anything that doesn't have to do with the music aspect of Grace Vanderwall. There's a ton of stuff to cover. Not only do you have, you know, you have, you're so beautiful. You have the Trevor Project, which is a kind of a little bit more jazzy feel to it or something like that, or bluesy feel. And then you have the YouTube concert where she sings it. And, oh, I mean, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. I mean, I love the Trevor Pro. Oh, my. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I love the one on YouTube because she sounds just so incredibly. I am going to do a video of her doing it. It's called auto-tune versus no auto-tune now i know she doesn't use auto-tune period but their point is, is like recorded versus it should just be recorded versus live and i don't know if you guys seen the video or not but it shows her singing i don't like you acapella and then it shows it compares it to the actual music video and it is impeccably similar it's just the same thing like I said in the Stray video, go listen to 10 Seconds to Stray, the, the live version. Go listen to 10 Seconds to Stray, the recorded version. They sound identical. That is really, I I know there are artists that can do that. But they're far and few in between these days because the, there is no, we have auto-tune and we have playback. You don't have to be good to be a famous singer now. You don't have to be good. You gotta be kind of good. Grace is not good. Grace is perfect. 
and I'm gonna do a reaction to that video because it, I, I, if you haven't seen it, it'll blow you away because it literally, she sounds the same all the way through. It's just, it's incredible. It makes me, I, you know, that's one of the things that I absolutely, that's one of the many things that make me admire her so much more than any other artist. It makes me, uh, brings me in for more is because of the fact that I know she can actually sing. This is not just a fluke. It's just not a girl out there pretending she can sing. She can sing like brilliantly, brilliantly. And I am so stoked that she exists in this world and that we get to see her become, uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry I get so carried away about her because I have nobody else to talk to her about and I literally literally just love this girl I just love I'm so happy she's here and god her voice I just I cannot get over the voice I cannot do it her lyrics are her lyrics are brilliant her lyrics lyrical prodigy plain and simple but that voice if she could have crappy lyrics and I would still listen to her I would still listen to her but I get, we get the beauty of having this amazing voice backing these amazing vocals. How much better do you get? You don't. You don't. She may be no Michael Jackson on stage with her dancing, but I'll tell you, I've said it before, I will take her dancing over a large dance number or choreographed dance moves all day long because it's real, it's pure, it's her. And anything Grace is worth watching. Period. End of story. Just remember that. I said in my last video, we will never get another person in this in our lifetime that will have the effect on us that Grace Vanderwall does. You will not get it. I promise you. The last one came and the last one appeared in 1969. That had an effect on the world. 1969. And he is gone. We will not get this again. Cherish it. Please. I know I am. I know that I am. And I hope you are too. Because she is a once in a lifetime. Thanks a lot for watching. And I hope you loved Saturday as much as I do. Because it's beautiful. <sighs> We'll see you in the next video.